Do you enjoy having control of your ants, or you prefer using Beetle to cover everything? What kind of openings you like? Are you an aggressive player, or you wait for your opponents to make a mistake to counterattack? In few words, what's your hive style of play? Find it out in this video. Welcome everyone. So we talk about style. Let's start from the dictionary definition of style. Literally, a particular procedure by which something is done. In our case, that something is play hive. And the procedure is the moves, the plans, the idea, whatever we choose to play. And to be more clear, it's about the choices that we make when there are multiple sensible options. Because clearly, when one move is much better than the other ones, there is no really style involved, but it's just the most sensible move to play. In Hive, like other games, there is room for personal taste, especially in the opening and the middle game. In short, different players will have different heuristics, different priorities, different preferences, however you want to call them, to pick a certain move. When we discuss the game with other people, we justify some moves based on our values, our ideas. They're often just typical of ourselves. They're almost part of our personalities. Therefore, in principle, there are as many styles as players out there playing. However, I think we can group all styles in four main ones. Offensive style play, control-oriented style, defensive style, and chaotic style. I'm going to talk about the main features of each of this and show you some example from recent game where these styles are employed. Let's go! An offensive player enjoys very much initiative, attacking the queen, often sacrificing beetles and ants in order to achieve the objective. And uh, Mosquito and sometimes even the pillbag are used offensively. Let's have a look at a couple of examples. This is Judoka Stepanzo, game of the final 2022 World Cup. This is the anti spawn defense from Black. White decided to play a Mosquito, a quite flexible choice, but the next move is particularly aggressive. This shows the intention of playing quickly beetle to get on top of the hive and get the control of the inner hive. If the white beetle is not stopped, we'll go on top of the hive. And if it's stopped, then white has got another spoon points to place a new, a new beetle. In short, you cannot stop white from having a beetle on top of the hive. This doesn't mean it's enough to win, but it's a particularly aggressive approach. The beetle has covered the black ladybug. Black has got the chance to get their ant out. And finally, another beetle. Not necessarily an early aggression ends up in a win, but but white has some initiative that black needs to neutralize first. In this game instead is black who plays aggressively. This is another game from 2022 World Cup. I played against Judoka in the group phase. And let's have a look. I played a buffer opening, a bit more defensive style. And black goes for a very early counterattack. This is normally not advised, especially to beginners, but in some cases it might be very effective. Black takes time to put the pillbox down and then goes straight to the beetle attack. Mosquito beetle attack is very 
common and the idea is to fill the spot that will be able to free the mosquito and then cover the white queen. Black tries to free the black ant and white reacts keeping the pin. An ant is sacrificed in order to get another ant down and then finally try to free the mosquito. White allows black mosquito to get on top of the hive, although it's not time yet, it's no rush. The game goes on, I try to defend and counter attack, but unfortunately it was too late and black attack was too accurate. Black has qualified for the win and There is no chance for me. Game over. Control oriented players instead enjoy increasing the mobility of their pieces and reducing the mobility of their opponent pieces as much as possible before striking the blow against the queen. Some elements common to this player are first, they often favor ants over beetles. Playing um, ant farm, for instance, a lot of ants one after the other. They play very often pin replacement. They play often stretch hives, especially when they can reach favorable end games. And attack the opponent queen is delayed until they absolutely sure that this works. Let's have a look at a couple of games again. This game features probably the two most skilled players when we talk about control style. Let's have a look. A classic Z opening where both player decide to put the pill back down very soon. White creates a pocket and black plays anti-spawn setup. Now is the ant game in action. Both player have pinned one of their opponent ant and now we see both player going for pin replacement, something which is very typical if you want to keep the control. Notice that the pin was a false pin, so that after the pin replacement, white spider is playing a true pin on the black hand, assuming the white hand is going to move again. After a pin replacement, black decided to break the white pocket and white goes for even another pin replacement and black puts the beetle down the idea was to take advantage of the pin replacement to qualify for the victory white cannot stop black from qualify for the victory will be enough to win spoiler no the game is very long though, so I'm gonna go quickly to the end. After 164 moves. Control-oriented games often end up in very long end games. In this game, after 145 moves, Kandak managed to find a way to win. It seems really impossible from here since black doesn't have enough material to surround white queen but he managed to pull it off what do you think is the next move this is the next move crazy ring white covers black beetle and the black pill bug is free black pill bug will be essential for um, the win in this game you're gonna see now in a bit the long maneuver of the pill bug around the hive notice that white really cannot do much why is the pill bug over there? you will see that in a second
the white ant has been replaced into a new space in order to pin all pieces in, a, in the same string and three black pieces. Now Magically Black has got four free pieces available to attack. He'll take a, a few more moves. Fast forward to the end. Incredible. This one might be similar to control oriented style, but there are a few differences. These players use slightly different openings. Um, they often enjoy buffer openings, and in general, they prefer broad and compact shapes over long stretch ones, which give flexibility on how to respond to attack. They don't necessarily prioritize their ants over other pieces, as long as they have a flexible shape. A defensive player tries to prevent the attack of their opponent, and then with the right moment to strike back. For instance, they cap attackers in order to prevent their opponent to attack. I'll show you now a game where Black, using defensive style, managed to win the game. The game is very long, but I show you, I think, the most important part. White is playing very aggressively after 12 moves. The idea is to warp out the queen. The problem with this move is that um, Black is going to have more mobility. Even if white pins the black queen, black plays probably the best move, which is capping the white queen. This will really much limit the way white can attack a black queen. The game is 190 moves long, so I'm not going to go through all of it. But just keep in mind that this point here, will be filled and the pillbug and the black mosquito will be free and they will be crucial for winning the game. Here another example where black played a completely different opening, a buffer opening, um, and keeps a very flexible shape and even though it seems under attack he managed to defend properly and then counterattack and win. This is the buffer opening where there is an extra bug between the queen and the white starter bug. This is probably the perfect shape for black where it's got a pocket and you will see how flexible it is. It's very compact, you can decide where your pieces are going to go and they, they are ready to attack and at the same time to defend. For example, the black mosquito is ready to cover the white beetle whenever it goes on top of the hive. And if the beetle decide to move into the kill spot, then the black queen can be warped away. Let's move on. Black has basically neutralized white attack, at least for now. Black queen seems almost surrounded, and the black pillbug is not in the best position. But as you can see, this central black cluster um, is still a uh, incredibly solid and um, white beetle can be pinned can be covered by a mosquito um, and whenever there is any other problem the black mosquito can um, warp away the black queen black took control and took advantage of 
the fact white doesn't have any real ant and goes for the attack. And now it's too late. Finally, chaotic style of play. Chaotic players like to find exciting and complicated solutions to the problems they face. There's also a psychological component involved since this complication increases the opponent's option and the chance they will get wrong. Chaotic players, they usually enjoy rings, making rings whenever possible. They enjoy sea openings and they embrace the change in the shape of the hive very often. For instance, by using an electric center, so a combination of a mosquito and a pill bag. Uh, you will see here two of the probably most chaotic players, intended as a compliment, and um, playing each other. And count how many rings there are out there. After 50 moves, first ring. This allows black to have the inner spot of the comb to place beetles, or what is called beetle factory often. Here a second ring. Here a third ring. Fourth. And we're just the beginning. Five. Six. Seven. Well, actually, it was the same ring, but. Eight. Let's have a look now in a situation where a ring comes out very early in a game. This is a game I played against Gandak in the match for the third place, the World Cup 2022. I'm playing white. This is a C opening. Two queens are on the same side. And this is a very typical move by white, where he creates an X trap, so that whenever a ring is formed, white will have the option to break it to his advantage. But black plays this crazy move. So he actually creates the ring on purpose with this completely symmetrical position. Although mm, probably this move is not very sound, uh, the surprise effect was was big. And I think I played not optimal move. I played this move. Well, I probably should have broken the ring myself first. Black took advantage and, and mm, mm, broke the ring. The game went on. Um, I managed to pull the victory, creating another ring. After uh, 45 moves. But it wasn't very clear. I have three caveats that I should mention. First, this is my personal arbitrary categorization. Other people might not agree with that, so take it with a pinch of salt. Second, some styles are more commonly played with certain color, white or black. For example, playing aggressively with black is not very common, given the disadvantage in tempo. And third, most people don't play with the same style all their life, and they even mix up different styles in the same game. Um, 
maybe depending on their opponent's style. And you? What's your style? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like the video, share, subscribe to my channel, and see you next time.